Namaste. Hello everyone, anyone. I hope you all doing well in during this time. I'm Gora Leela Dasi and I'm going to be doing a class this today. So um, first of all I'd like to just mention a little bit about myself that I've been doing yoga for many years for 30 years now and adding the meditation to my life was before I started doing the yoga asanas um, and I love teaching and I love helping people so I hope that you when you do these poses that you're going to listen to your body and not to anything that hurts so we're going to start on our backs so you lie down on your back and if you want to have your back releasing toward the mat it's best to place a bolster or a cushion underneath your knees your arms by your side, palms face the ceiling. Just let your legs splay out to the side. Tuck your chin in toward your chest. So just taking this time now to bring your awareness into your body. You've probably been doing quite a lot of things today and so you want to bring your awareness back to your body. Just checking out what the body feels like today. So I want you to take slow and deep breaths in, just relaxing all the bones of your body. Just feeling your bones resting on the mat. Slow and deep breaths. And just noticing any sensations in your body. Noticing where you're holding tension. And just focus on relaxing those areas of your body. Now bring your hands onto your abdomen. So we're going to do complete yoga breathing. It's a technique that actually helps you breathe all the way down to your lower lungs. So we're breathing into the lower lungs, the middle lungs and the upper lungs. Whereas most times when we stress, we're breathing into the upper lungs. That's just a short and shallow breathing technique. So we bring your hands onto your abdomen and you breathe into the abdomen and feel the abdomen rise. And as you breathe out, just let the abdomen relax back down again. So that's just breathing all the way down into the lower lungs. Then you move your hands to the sides of your ribs and you breathe into the middle lungs. As you breathe in, feel the ribs expand. And as you breathe out, noticing the ribs back, falling back in toward the center line of your body and then bringing your fingertips onto your collarbones and this is the shorter breathing and exhale. Now we're going to do a complete yoga breath where we breathe into the lower lungs, then the middle lungs and then into the upper lungs and exhale in the reverse from the top of the lungs to the middle lungs to the lower lungs. So you can keep your arms by your side, palms facing the ceiling or if you wish you can move your hands as you breathe in and move them down as you breathe out. So let's start. So taking a slow and do deep breath in all to, to the lower lungs, then the middle lungs and the upper lungs and exhale in the reverse. And as you exhale, just feel the bones of your body resting on your mat. Inhale into the lower, the middle, and the upper lungs and just again becoming aware of all the bones of your skeleton resting on the mat and once more inhaling and exhaling now just noticing the joints in your body releasing just letting the knees release and relax the joints in your fingers, your wrists, your elbows and your shoulders and relax your jaw. We tend to hold a lot of tension in the jaw, so just relax the jaw. I'm just taking a few slow breaths here, just normal breathing. And then inhale. And as you exhale, slowly move your head to the right. So the slower you move your head to the right, the more you can relax and release tension in the neck and shoulders. 
exhale completely and then inhaling bringing the head back to the center and when you in the center tuck the chin slightly again and then move the head over to the other side going as slowly as possible just releasing tension in the neck and the shoulders and just doing two more inhale tuck the chin in as you come to the center and as you exhale move the head over to the right and then inhale back to the center tuck the chin in and move the head to the left And once more, inhale to the center, tuck the chin in, exhale, and then inhale over to the right. And then bring your head very slowly back to the center. Bring your, head, your feet onto the block and just move the block away, the bolster, sorry. So usually, in this time now that we're going through, we're probably sitting at home a lot, watching TV or doing, working from home. So I'm just going to do some opening poses. So bring your feet hip width apart. And if you can touch your heels, that's fine. If you can't touch it, that's not a problem. You're just trying to get your body in alignment. So your ankles, your knees and your hips are in line. Inhaling and just point the toes up towards the ceiling and then point and flex your foot and then make circles. Just really working the joints in the toes and the ankles. And then release, bend the knee and just shake the foot. And then place that foot down and point the left toes up towards the ceiling. Point and flex the foot. And then making circles with your foot. And then bend the knee and just shake the foot. And then bring the right knee up again. And now you're going to bend the one knee, like you're going to do a cycling. You're going to bend one knee and straighten the other. So just moving the legs like you're riding a bicycle. And so you're focusing on moving the joints in your knees and your hip joints. And then just see if you can go a little bit lower so that you're going at a diagonal line with your legs and then coming back up again. And then bring your knees together, place the feet down on the mat again, touching the fingertips if you can. Exhale completely. Then you're going to press down into your feet and slowly let your pelvis lift up off the mat. Exhale and then inhale, press down into the feet again, opening up through the front of your hips and thighs. Tuck the chin in slightly. Exhale completely and inhale, press down into the feet to let the pelvis lift. And then hold this position for a few breaths, three breaths. Inhale, pressing down into the feet to see if you can let your pelvis come higher. Exhale, inhale, pressing down into the feet and exhale. Feel that length in the back of your neck. Once more, inhale. Exhale, and on an inhale, you're going to slowly lower your spine one vertebra at a time from the top of the spine to the middle of your spine, your lower back and your pelvis. And then hug your knees to your chest and just circle the knees, just massaging those muscles in the lower back area, the buttock area. And making the circles a little bit wider out to the sides further away from you and in toward you. So you're getting to massage more of those muscles in the lower back. And then circle the knees in the opposite direction. Small circles first and make the circles bigger. And then bring the knees back to the center. Place your feet back down on the mat again, hip width apart. And once more, we're going to push up into the Bridge, so press down, exhale and inhale, pushing down into the feet and letting the pelvis lift, the lower back, the middle back. This time, if you wish to go further, just do what is comfortable, but if you wish to go further, you press down into your hands and your arms, tuck the chin to help open up through the front of your chest 
the front of your hips and thighs, you're stretching the back of your neck, inhaling, pressing down into the arms again and the feet, exhale completely and as you inhale, slowly lower your back, one vertebra at a time, all the way down to your pelvis, hug the knees to your chest and then circle the knees and in the opposite direction. Place the left foot down on the floor. Cross the right leg over your left. Arms are out to the side, palms face the ceiling. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly lower the knees over to the right. Really slowly. Try not to let the left shoulder blade and arm lift up off your mat. If you feel that happens, just activate the inner thighs. Again, just gently stretch the waistline the outer, the hip and the thigh. Don't force your knee further over than is comfortable. You don't want to get your shoulder girdle involved with a pelvic twist. Exhale completely, activate the inner thighs and bring the knees back up to the center. Bring your right ankle onto that left knee. Lift the left foot up off the floor. Bring your arms through the gap of your right leg and you can either interlock the fingers behind this left thigh or in front of your left knee. Do what is comfortable. So try not to let your shoulders lift. You're trying to keep your shoulder blades still resting on the mat. So doing the easier version first. Inhale and as you exhale you gently bring that left knee in toward you so that you're working the left hip joint. Inhale, move the leg away and exhale, bring the leg in toward you. Inhale, move the leg away, and exhale, bringing the leg in toward you. Inhale, and then if you wish to go further, you can bring the fingers in front of the knee, interlock the fingers, inhaling and exhaling, just listening to your body. Inhale, move the leg away. Exhale, bring the leg toward you. Once more, inhale, move the leg away, and exhale, bring the leg toward you. Release your hands, place that left foot down on the floor, cross that leg over your left leg again. Arms by your side, palms face the ceiling, inhaling and exhaling, moving the knees over to the right again. Keep those inner thighs gently activated so that you have more control of your legs moving over to the sides and that your left shoulder blade and arm is not lifting up off the mat. And now stay there inhaling and exhale. Slowly turn your head to look to the left. So don't force your head any further than it wishes to move. Working with your, the weight of your head, your breathing and gravity. Getting a stretch to the whole of that left side of your body. And then exhale, activate the inner thighs. Slowly bring the head back to the center and the knees back to the center. Tuck your chin and uncross that leg. Cross the left leg over the right, inhaling. And as you exhale, slowly move the knees over to the left. To becoming aware of the twist of those vertebrae in your waist. If, and again, really focus on that right shoulder blade not lifting up off the mat. Breathe, if you feel the shoulder wants to lift, you activate the thighs, bring the knees back up again and go back down slowly again. Really trying to keep the shoulder girdle out of the twist from the waist down. Exhale completely and then inhale. Activate the inner thighs and bring the knees back up to the center. Bring that left ankle onto your right knee. Lift the right foot up off the mat. Thread that left arm through that gap of the left leg. Interlock the fingers behind the thigh. Inhaling, and as you exhale, bring that right knee in toward you and release, inhale, and exhale. Bring the leg in toward you and relax, inhale. If you wish to go further, interlock the fingers in front of the knee. Try not to let your shoulders or head lift, just trying to work to move that joint in your right hip. Inhaling, and exhale, bringing the knee in toward you. Inhale, release. 
and exhale, bring the knee in toward you and then release. Your hands, place that left foot down on the right foot down on the mat, cross the left leg over, arms by your side again. Tuck the chin in toward the chest, inhale and as you exhale, slowly moving the knees over to the left. Taking slow and deep breaths in and just relaxing as you breathe out. Try not to get the right shoulder blade involved. Feel that stretch on the outer thigh, your hip, your waist, the rib cage. And then exhale, activate the inner thighs and bring the knees back up to the center. Uncross the leg, hug the knees to your chest and just circle the knees again. Massaging all those muscles that you've just stretched and twisted. And then reverse the direction of the circles. And then bring the knees back to the center. Bring your hands behind your knees and thighs and you're going to kick your feet back and roll up. And then you're going to round your back. Again, just massaging those muscles alongside the spine. So you round your back and come back up. Round the back so you feel those lower back muscles and, and the spine on your mat. Now the next time you roll up, you're going to come up and balance on your sitting bones. Lift and open up through the chest, inhaling and exhaling balancing on the sitting bones and if you can you bring your ankles in line with your knees separate the toes and then release and round your back just massage those muscles again next time you roll up come up and balance on the sitting bones you can stay in this position or if you wish to go further you can straighten the legs and then round your back again massaging those muscles in the back then you can come up, balance again. This is the easier version where you release your hands as well. Lifting up, you're strengthening your core muscles. If you wish to go further, this position, the boat. And then release, roll. And the next time you roll up, bring your right foot in front of your left, sitting in a cross-legged position. Inhaling. And as you exhale, you're folding forward from the hips. So it's just a gentle stretch. Don't move in pain, inhaling. Keep the opening in front of your chest. All the way open and then stretching forward. Inhaling and exhaling. Trying to keep the back, your spine long. And then slowly pushing yourself up. The right foot is in front. You're going to roll and bring the left leg in front of the right. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, fold forward. Inhaling, lengthening the spine and exhaling, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold. And then push yourself up. And we're going to do that once more. Run, roll back, right foot in front. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. And then roll back. And exhale, left foot in front. And exhale, fold. And then inhale and straighten the legs. Give the legs a shake. We're going to do a twist. So you bring the right foot onto the outside of your left knee. Lift and lengthen the spine. Bring your left hand gently on the outside of your right knee. Bring your right hand behind you. So keep your chin and your chest in line, inhaling. And as you exhale, don't turn your head. You're twisting in the waist. Inhale and exhale. Twist in the waist. And now once you've twisted as far as you can, inhale, lengthen and exhale. Turn your head as far to the side as you can. Now you're going to inhale, lengthen again and exhale, twist in the waist and in the neck. See how far behind you you can look. And then release and come back to the front. Straighten the right leg, give the leg a shake, and then bring the left foot onto the outside of your right knee. 
bring the left hand behind you just for support. Inhale, your right hand is on the outside of that left knee. Inhaling, lengthen and keep your chin and the middle of your chest in line. So inhale, lengthen and exhale, twist. You're twisting in the waist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, twist. And then inhale and now exhale. Turn your head only as far as comfortable. Breathe in and exhale. See if you can twist in the waist and now twist your head to see as far behind you as you can. And then slowly release. Straighten both legs. We're going to do a forward fold, inhaling. This is you're trying to keep from your hips, you're trying to keep this open. You're trying to keep your back lengthened and as you fold forward from the hips. So you're working the hips in your joint, the joints in your hips. Stretching through the calf muscles, the hamstrings. Just do what you can. If you have a belt, you can place the belt on the pad of your feet and just work yourself forward, but always keeping your heart moving forward. Inhaling and exhaling. And then release. Give your legs a shake. And then coming up onto your hands and knees. So your fingers are wide apart. You press down into the palms, the fingers, so that there's not that much weight on the heels of your hands. Your knees are hip width apart. We're going to do the cat and the cow. So you inhale, lift the tailbone, curve the lower back and stretch the chest and chin forward. And exhale, round your back, push up between the shoulder blades and let your head down. Inhale, lift the tailbone. Curve the lower back and stretch the chest and chin forward. You're just getting more movement in your spine. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, gently curve the back. Exhale, round the back. And inhale, curve the lower back. Stretch the chest and chin forward. And then bring your hips back down onto your heels to, into an extended child's pose. If that's too strong, you can just, or if you have high blood pressure, you can just place your head on a block. Inhaling and exhaling, just resting, stretching to the sides of your torso. Become aware of the stretch in the shoulder joint and the arms. And then exhale completely and slowly come up onto your forearms. So your wrists, your elbows and your shoulders are in line. And you straighten the right leg, push the heel away, and then you straighten the left leg and come into a plank on your forearms. Work your inner thighs gently toward each other, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and now exhale, move forward, lower your hips, the top of your thighs, the top of your feet. And we come into the Sphinx pose. So you're pressing into your palms and your forearms and you're gently sliding them back and reaching your chest forward to lengthen through the front of your chest. Notice how those muscles in your back are stretching. And then exhale, bring one hand above the other. Rest your forehead on the back of your hands. Take slow and deep breaths and become aware of your pelvis resting on the mat. Your forehead rests on the back of your hands. Exhale. And now you're going to lift the feet up off the floor and your shins. And I want you to just notice how you feel that this part, the front of your hips and thighs actually also lift and now lower the legs back down again. Now this time I want you to keep the pelvis relaxed and slowly move the legs, bending the knees, but not letting your pelvis move up off the mat. So you'll feel you get the stretch in the front of your hips and thighs from the beginning, instead of getting into this position and then working your pelvis into the mat. Inhaling and now exhale, lower your forehead onto the mat. And then you're going to 
keeping your forehead on the mat, you're going to reach the left arm up and then lower that one. And then you inhale and reach the right one back up and down. Rest your forehead on the mat and then bring your arms on either side of your body. Keep your pelvis working into your mat. Exhale completely. And as you inhale, raise your head, your chest, work your shoulder blades toward each other and reach your hands toward your feet. Inhaling and exhaling. Now you're slowly keeping your pelvis on the mat and trying to bring your heels closer and closer toward your hands. You're not going to move your body to grab hold of your feet. You're just going to stay in this position. See if you can get closer and closer without your pelvis lifting. And then release and relax. Turn your head to one side. And relax. And then lift your head, inhale and exhale. Turn your head to the other side and relax. Deep breath in and relax. Bring your hands on either side of your chest. Fingers are wide apart, pressing into your palms. Forehead on your mat. You're going to slide the head forward as you inhale. Lift your head and slowly lift your chest. Now lift your hands to notice how you're using those muscles in your back. And then lower the hands back down again. Exhale completely and as you inhale, slowly squeeze your elbows in. Try not to let your elbows splay out to the side. You're working your elbows in toward your rib cage. Exhale and then inhale. Slowly pushing yourself up into cobra. Then pushing down to straighten the arms if you can. And as you exhale, move your hips back down onto your heels. This time bring your arms by your sides and rest in the pose of the child. Exhale completely and then coming back onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees up off the mat, bring your abdomen and your thighs to touch. And then slowly lower the right heel, keep that left knee bent. Bend the right knee and slowly lower the left heel. And just doing this just to stretch the calf muscles, your hamstrings, you're working the joints in your ankles, the toes. And then lift both heels and stretch the back of your toes. And then exhale, just lowering your heels as far as you can comfortably. Don't force it down toward the mat. We're gonna come into a plank. Inhale and as you exhale, fold forward. Your wrists are beneath your shoulders. Work your shoulder blades toward each other. Activate the inner thighs, and you'll notice that activates the core. Hold for as long as you can comfortably. Don't force. Inhaling, and then exhale. Drop the top of your feet onto the mat. Bend your elbows, lower your knees, your thighs, your pelvis. And then lower yourself down. And resting in this position. One hand above the other. Your forehead resting on the back of your hands or you can turn your head to one side or to the other, just resting, taking this time to rest for a moment. Slowly and deeply, and then bring your hands on either side of your chest. We're gonna push back up again. Exhale, and then inhale, slide your nose forward, your head up, and then pressing up to come onto your hands and knees. Pushing back to come onto the knees. So your knees are hip width apart, hands on your hips. And you're going to slide that left foot forward. Your shoulders and hips stay in line. Inhale, and as you exhale, you move the left knee forward. Feel the stretch on the front of that left hip and thigh. Inhaling and exhaling. Press down into that left foot, trying to straighten the leg. Inhale and exhale. Fold forward. Bring your hands on either side of the foot. Tuck the back toes under. Now keep your pelvis in this position. 
Don't let your hips lift and you bend or lift that left knee. You're going to lift the knee and push the heel back. Check that your ankle is beneath the knee for balance. And then you're going to push yourself up in this position. Stay here if that's more comfortable. Bring your hands onto your hips. If you wish to go further, you reach your arms up alongside your head. And then lower your hands, lower the back knee. You're going to step that left foot back. Knees are beneath your hips. Hands on your hips. Slide that right foot forward. And then inhaling. The knee moves forward, your shoulders and hips stay in line. Take slow and deep breaths. Feel the stretch in the front of that left hip and thigh. And then bring your hands down on either side of your foot. Tuck the back toes under. If you wish, you can straighten the leg. And if you wish to go further, you can bring your hands on your hips or up alongside your head. Breathing all the while. And then release, lower your hands, lower that back knee, flatten the back foot, and then slowly straighten the leg, and then move the foot back. Now work the knees wide apart, big toes touching, not too wide, just enough so that you get a gentle stretch. Inhale and reach your arms forward. Lower your chest if you can, and then rest your forehead on the mat. Or if you have high blood pressure, remember to either make fists, rest your head on your fists, or on the block. Just take some time here now. Feel the gentle stretch in the inner thighs. If you need to, you can work the knees in a little bit. If you feel that you have too much stretch in the inner thighs, And then exhale and slowly come back up. Coming up to stand. It's good to be able to learn to stand, especially as we get older. You're stepping the foot forward just like you did in the lounge. You're putting the weight on that foot and coming up to stand with no support. We want to be able to, as we get older, to be able to have the strength in our legs. So we're coming into the mountain pose. Lift and spread the toes, and then relax the toes. Lift the shoulders up towards the ears, and then relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Reach the right arm up alongside your head, and then inhale. And as you exhale, slide that left hand down the left leg, just stretching through the right side of your body. Inhale, come back up, and exhale lower. Inhale, raise the left arm up. And exhale, slide the right hand down the right leg. And then inhale up and exhale lower. Oops. So coming into the mountain pose, lift and spread the toes and feel from the big toe to the little toe, you're spreading the toes. And then lift, as you lift the toes, you'll notice how it activates your calf muscles, your kneecaps, your thighs, and it even activates a little bit of your core muscles. And then relax the toes. We're going to do a balancing pose. So just rock back and forth for a few times. Just getting the weight balanced evenly over the whole of your foot. And then coming back into the Lifting the toes, relaxing, lifting the kneecaps, activating the thighs. Inhaling and exhaling. Can't remember what I said now. Bring your hands up above your head, inhale and exhale. We're going to do a balancing pose. So you place the weight on your right leg. So don't rock the hips. You're just pressing down into that right foot. 
lift the left heel up off the mat. Now you're going to visualize that you have a string attached to your knee and somebody's lifting the knee by the string so that you're just moving in the hip joint. So your hip is not going to lift but the joint is going to move. So inhale, exhale, draw the navel in gently and then inhale, let the left knee lift as high as you can. And focusing on the spot to help you keep your balance. If you can't, you just hold onto a chair or hold onto the wall. And then you're going to rotate through that joint and bring the foot in front of your right knee. Bring your hands in prayer position. And then reach your arms up and out to the side. So if you can't balance in this way, just bring that foot down onto the outside of your right foot. Never place the foot on the inside of the knee because you may push the knee out of alignment. Inhaling, pressing down, so you're growing roots from the feet down like the tree. You're reaching your arms up towards the sky. And then release and lower. Again, separating the feet, hip width apart, lift and spread the toes. Lower the toes, place the weight on that left foot and then lift the right heel and again focusing on the knee as if you are, have a string on the knee and you're lifting the knee up. So exhale and as you inhale slowly let the knee lift. Inhaling and exhaling, rotate through the right joint, bring the foot onto the front of your knee. Focusing on the spot to help you keep your balance. And then you reach your arms up. Reaching the branches up to the sky. Pressing down in that left foot, helping you to keep your balance. Hmm. And then release and lower. So for those that wish to go further, there's lots of people that want to do the pose where they place the foot on the inner thigh, but they do this to do it. So they're moving their bodies in that way. So to try not to do that, you again focusing on the knee as if it's being lifted. You work the joint out to the side and you try not to move your body, but you're trying to keep the upper part of your body straight, not bending. So that wasn't a good example, so we'll do the other side. Lift the right heel, lift the knee, rotate through the joint, and you're bringing that foot up onto the inside of your left thigh. So you're focusing on working the heel in and that foot into the left thigh, activating the thigh. And then if you can, you reach your hands up towards the ceiling, the sky, and then release. Give your legs a shake. Okay, we're coming to do, step the left foot forward, bend the knee, reach the arms forward and up alongside your head. You're trying to have your pelvis facing forward, inhaling and exhaling. Feel the stretch in that back leg and then release. Push into that front foot and step back and then step the right foot forward. Hands on your hips to keep your pelvis facing forward. Bend the knee and then inhale, raise the arms up alongside your head. And then lower. Push into that front foot and step back. And then coming up to your hands and knees. And then knees apart, big toes touching. And again, working your hips back onto your heels and just resting in this extended wide-legged pose. Either fists or on a block or just your forehead on the mat. And feel the length in through the front of your torso your back. Take slow and deep breaths in this position. 
and you'll feel that your chest might drop closer toward the mat. Feel this work in your hip joints. And then exhale completely. And slowly push yourself back up again. So if you have a bolster or a cushion, you begin to come into the relaxation. You can rest the back of your knees on the mat and you're going to lie down on your back, arms by your side, palms face the ceiling. This is the most important part of the Savasan. Assimilating the benefits of all the stretching and the poses that you did. So take a slow and deep breath and now you're going to focus on relaxing all the bones of your skeleton. There are 206 bones in the skeleton, so feel all those bones getting heavier and heavier as they rest on your mat. Breathing in and just breathing out with a sigh. Feel those bones in the feet, the legs getting heavier. The bones of your pelvis resting on your mat. Relax those bones of your spine all the way from the base of your spine to the base of your skull. When you get to the back of your neck, just gently tuck your chin in to lengthen those muscles on either side of your spine. All the bones in your hands and fingers, your forearms and upper arms. Just feel those bones getting heavier and heavier. And your, the heaviest bone in the body is your skull. And just feel your skull as light as a balloon as if it's floating at the top of your spine. Now bring your awareness to the joints between those bones, the joints in your toes, your ankles, your knees and your hips. And just release those joints. Just noticing if you're feeling any tension in any part, in any joint area, just taking the breath into that area and just relaxing that part of your body. And then release the joints in your fingers, your wrists, your elbows and the shoulders. And then relax the joint in your jaw. And now relax all those muscles that cover the body. Those muscles covering your feet and toes, your calf muscles, your thighs. The muscles covering your pelvis, the buttock muscles, the abdominal muscles, those deep muscles inside of the pelvis. Relax the muscles on either side of your spine. Those directly alongside the spine and those a bit further out from the spine. Become aware of the shoulder blades and relax those muscles that are attached to the shoulder blades. The palms of your hands are soft and your fingers are gently curled. Relax the forearms and the upper arms. Just feel them getting heavier and heavier. Relax those muscles covering your skull, the scalp and all the muscles in your face. Smoothing out any creases, especially between the eyebrows and the forehead. And just feel your eyes dropping deeper and deeper to rest in their sockets. Your cheeks relax, your jaw relaxes, the tongue in your jaw relaxes. The whole body is relaxed, getting heavier and heavier. 
And then taking your awareness away from the body and focusing on your breathing. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Feel the coolness of the breath as you breathe in and the warmth as you breathe out. Don't change your breath, don't judge your breath. Just watch the breath moving in and out of the body. We're going to do a mantra. A mantra, mantra, is a Sanskrit word. Man means mind, and tra means to take away from. So the mantra takes your mind away from the thoughts that come and go. And the mantra we're going to repeat is go ra anga. So as we breathe in, we we'll take the mantra go ranga into the mind, and as we breathe out, we'll say go ra. of the sound moving through your body. Bring your awareness back to your body resting on the mat, the relaxed state of your body and the calmness of your mind. And gently waking your body by wriggling your fingers and your toes, just to gently wake the body. And then relax the fingers and the toes and very, very slowly move your head from side to side. The slower you move your head, the more you can release those muscles at the base, the base of your skull, the neck. You might even feel sensations in your head, your face, your shoulders. Really slow movements of the head from side to side. And the next time you move your head over to the right, let your head rest over to the right. Don't force it any further than it wishes to move. Just take slow and deep breaths. Feel the stretch on the left side of your neck. And then exhale and very slowly bringing the head back to the center again. Tuck the chin in slightly. Inhale and exhaling, moving the head slowly over to the left, just as far as your head wishes to move. No force, no strain. And stay over here for a breath or two. And feel that gentle stretch on the right side of your neck. And then exhale and slowly bring the head back to the center. And then rolling over onto your right side, rest your head on your arm, all the way over onto your right side and just rest in this position for a few breaths. And then you push yourself up with your left hand to come up and sit in any easy sitting position.
So you can sit on the bolster or a cushion or a chair. And we just finish off with these ancient sacred mantras. The mantra, or as I was saying, a mantra is a Sanskrit word. Man means mind and tra means to take away from. And the mantra that we're going to be doing is Om Hari Om. Om is the transcendental sound vibration and the representation of the Supreme, the Supreme Soul, the Divine or God. Hari, this represents this, the highest truth as he who removes all impediments from my heart he who removes my pain he who removes my suffering that's the meaning of Hari position in front of the chest, bowing the forehead to the fingertips and the fingertips to the forehead, bowing to the Supreme Spirit Soul, the Divine, or oh God. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining me.